Now, Central Oregon's local alert weather with Chief Meteorologist John Carroll. A little bit of a taste of fall, a little bit of taste of winter, and uh, this is what it looked like this morning at Mount Bachelor. This was about 7 o'clock, so let's put it in motion and show you as the day progressed. We saw a mixture of clouds and some sunshine. You can also notice that there is still a little bit of a layer of snow uh, on the ground. I don't believe we added to that today, but uh, it does still look nice, and folks that do like the wintry weather are enjoying at least this little taste of winter. Here is a live look from Mount Bachelor, looking off towards the three sisters in the background. And uh, again, that snow is kind of melting, but it is still only September. So here's a look at the weather headlines. Rain returns on Friday. So tomorrow we are going to see a mixture of clouds and sun and then a lot of clouds and some scattered showers. I'll show you that in a second. It's going to be a chilly weekend and then we dry out moving forward into next week. We still got some rain to talk about for tonight. Some scattered showers are speckling across the northern portion of the state, but also are moving into our area east of the Cascades. Zooming in a bit closer, you'll notice that uh, the showers do approach the 97 Carter. Got a little light rain in Sisters, got a little light rain in the Redmond area, and uh, we are probably going to see a little bit more before the end of the day, but not much more than that. We're going to wait till tomorrow to see the more widespread shower activity generally coming in from this batch of cloud cover that will progress across and move our way. So as we look at that satellite and radar uh, on a larger scale uh, zoomed into the U or to the uh, Oregon region, uh, we are noticing the southern tier of Oregon is relatively cloud free. But here is a look at our rain. I'll we'll stop this at 7 o'clock after the rain showers moved through through the morning hours. And as those showers moved on through, and they gave us about a quarter of an inch or so. And then moving forward into our Saturday morning, uh, we're clearing things out. Uh, up in through Salem, Corvallis as well, but we'll still see a few showers lingering around into the afternoon time frame before all is said and done. We'll add probably about another tenth to a third of an inch of rain to the region. By Saturday evening into Sunday, well, that area of low pressure is well to the south, and we are well on the dry side of the street. So overall, uh, we have Friday and early Saturday to deal with some more showers, and then we're pretty much done for a while. So how much are we going to get? Well, it does appear uh, that by Friday evening, we'll get about, oh, maybe uh, almost a quarter of an inch uh, south of Sun River, but not that much elsewhere. We'll see about a tenth of an inch or so, some pockets more, some pockets less, but uh, generally a good old watering of the lawn. Currently, the winds are noticeable, but not overwhelming. Uh, they're at about, oh, five to ten miles an hour. High temperatures today were chilly. Normal high temperature today is about 72 degrees. Only got to 63 today in Bend. 59 for the high in Sun River. As we look at our temperatures now, we have 50s and 60s through the region. The lows tonight will dip into the 30s and 40s. The cloud cover will keep us from getting all that cold. And then for tomorrow, we are looking at highs only in the 50 degree range in the Bend area. We'll stay in the 50s over the weekend and then we'll get back to the 60s on Monday. But it's going to be a crisp one for the next few days. And that's a look at your local alert weather.